got a couple of beautiful gravel bikes I built uh, last week and this week. So we've got Riley Titanium Frames built in the UK. The customer gave me their two old bikes, so it's a his and her. On his bike, there wasn't much to change apart from the cranks. Uh, and on her bike, there was bottom bracket to change, just different compatibility with that. Uh, we went with the Praxis cranks with this. So the customer wanted to keep the 34 tooth chain ring that he rides with. He's comfortable with that gear ratio. But to get some nicer cranks to fit a 34 tooth isn't that easy. So most gravel cranks don't allow anything less than 36. So it rules out the majority of them. Um, GRX as well. So the uh, from Shimano. The bottom bracket on this one is Praxis BSA. And we went with a standard Alba crank. So they come with a double chain ring, but we just switched it to a single 34 tooth from Praxis themselves. Everything else switched over. It's still a carbon fork on both bikes, 12 mil bolt through. The rear free hub body, so we changed a different set of wheels. So we actually took the free hub body from the other Hunt wheels across to this, XD compatible. Both bikes took me roughly three hours each to build across. The hydraulic hoses was the main um, time consuming part and then gear cable on uh, on the smaller bike behind me here the gear cable took a little bit longer as well it's got integrated cables running through the handlebars but it's just that small you know like two inch part of the handlebar so it's a bit of a faff trying to get through there everything's set up nicely i've finished off the gear cable on the front quite nicely just i've got all three cables running down one side and i've got the gear cable switching across down the down frame it did have two bolt holes in the bottom here for an extra bottle cage they are kind of foul on the gear cable, so I've switched it out with some rubber bungs there, just so there's nothing gonna gonna catch the gear cable and make it dance and, and twang as the customer's using it. Uh, it's got a, quite a colorful finish to it. But again, customer had requested all this from Riley, um, and then all I've done is build it out the box. The frame the frames arrived in last start of last week, so we finished off there. The customer is going to be getting a titanium seat post for this one uh, at some point in the future, so he'll drop that in. With this kind of build, um, I want to see the customer back within a couple of hundred miles or a couple of months, depends what's sooner, just to check that the cables have all seated in well. There's nothing rubbing, there's nothing unusual, there's nothing we've missed. Everything is working well on the bike. So with the, the smaller one, so the T47 on this one, of course, because it came from a specialised diverge with a um, BSA bottom bracket. So T47 put a Praxis bottom bracket into this one. And... The gear cable routing on this one is internal, whether it's on the larger frame behind it is external. It makes it a little bit easier for maintenance. Um, the gear cable on this one is quite a tight exit. I mean, these frames are kind of designed for for wireless gears, but it's coming straight out the down tube at the chain stay, uh, like a Cannondale kind of style. And we've got to kind of hook it up and round. I've put a cable tidy here just to hold it in place and hold it a little bit neater. Um, that's the one thing that, and the, trying to get the gear cable through there wasn't that easy. Uh, they are just stainless, um, they are titanium tubes, and the ends have got quite a small orifice to try and get the, the cable through. But we got it done. Um, his and her Riley gravel frames, really nice. Um, the company have been pretty good, and every single detail of the frame that you can imagine as a mechanic has been done. So every thread has been greased, every thread has been properly chased. There's nothing that's been left. There's no swarf left in the frame. It's quite a nice finish on it, but you'd expect that with their price tag um, and their customer service seems pretty good. Their rep's really nice. I've spoken to in the past, so we would like to stock these in the future at Frothy as in have one or two frames on the wall, but price point right now, I can't I can't set that cash flow out of the business. But yeah, there you go. His and hers. I like them. Hopefully my head's in this shot standing here. Cheers for watching.